Today's evening devotional. They that pierced him. Ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. Mark chapter 14 verse 62. As they the Jewish rulers gaze upon his glory, there flashes before their minds the memory of the Son of Man clad in the garb of humanity. They remember how they treated him, how they refused him, and pressed close to the side of the great apostate. The scenes of Christ's life appear before them in all their clearness. All he did, all he said, the humiliation to which he descended to save them from the taint of sin, rises before them in condemnation. They behold him riding into Jerusalem, and see him break into an agony of tears over the impenitent city that would not receive his message. His voice, which was heard in invitation, in entreaty, in tones of tender solicitude, seems again to fall upon their ears. The scene in the Garden of Gethsemane rises before them, and they hear Christ's amazing prayer, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Again they hear the voice of Pilate, saying, I find in him no fault at all. They see the shameful scene in the judgment hall, when Barabbas stood by the side of Christ, and they had the privilege of choosing the guiltless one. They hear again the words of Pilate, Whom will ye that I release unto you? Barabbas, or Jesus which is called Christ. They hear the response, Away with this man, and release unto us Barabbas. To the question of Pilate, What shall I do then with Jesus? The answer comes, Let him be crucified. Again they see their sacrifice bearing the reproach of the cross. They hear the loud, triumphant tones tauntingly exclaim, If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. He saved others, himself he cannot save. Now they behold him not in the garden of Gethsemane, not in the judgment hall, not on the cross of Calvary. The signs of his humiliation have passed away and they look upon the face of God the face they spit upon, the face which priests and rulers struck with the palms of their hands. Now the truth in all its vividness is revealed to them. 